a new twist in the search for Brian Laundry as police bring in a canine cadaver dog trained to find human remains. The three-year-old black Labrador named Diesel searched the vast swamp where it's claimed Brian Laundry went hiking and never returned. Now, repeated searches of the 40 square mile swamp have so far turned up nothing and reportedly cost $1.5 million. John Walsh, host of Investigation Discoveries in Pursuit, scoffs at the idea Laundry can be found there, dead or alive. He never went in that swamp. And I'm a Floridian. I, I, I'm incensed that they spent a million and a half dollars on a tip from his parents. I would never have bought that. He never went in that swamp. Meanwhile, internet sleuths are buzzing about a new theory. It involves a mysterious text sent from Gabby's phone to her mother on August 27th, close to the time she was murdered. It says, can you help Stan? I just keep getting his voicemails and missed calls. I'm Lisa Guerrero in Mexico. It was initially believed that Stan referred to Gabby's grandfather, but now there are some who believe that Stan actually refers to a former business partner of the Laundry family who lives here. So could this potential connection point to Brian hiding out here in Mexico? The Laundry's attorney would not comment on the claims. And the Mexico Daily Post newspaper published this photo of a Brian Laundry lookalike sitting at a restaurant in Merida, Mexico. Could it be him? Right now, it's just one of many sightings, all of which have proven fruitless in the search for America's most wanted man.